video, airsoft video about making a airsoft. What would stoner do? M16, uh, or M16, M M16 or M4. Uh, and the swine. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. Is we are looking at the parts which I found on ebike.com exclusively, which um, I could look on another site. It's just that uh, I was just like back in the day when I was 13, all those decades ago. Um, ebike kind of came out on top for me, so I will look and see if there's any third parties which are better than what I found. Parts are better, but if you go solely on ebike.com and look for the parts, this is what you'll find. Now, what is what you what what would Stoner do? Uh, AR-15 in this case, it is the it is a experiment slash it's an experiment slash good idea from Ian McCollum and I always forget your name. Um, over at In Range TV and Forgotten Weapons, they wanted to make a Modern day M16 or a modern day R15. What would basically what would Stoner do if he instead wasn't locked in time to the 1960s, 70s, and 80s? And what if he was what if he was like my age when what what if he, what if he did his thing but in the 2010s? And that's what they came up with. Now the final now their final rifles as of making of this video um, is a carbon is a Carbon uh, free float, free float uh, tube uh, or foregrip uh, with mounts for uh, with, with mounts for rails, a polymer stock, which is our production. Which, by the way, um, in another video, which I'll link in the description as well, they're restarting their project for 2020 um, with all new components. And they're even wanting to produce the rifle this time because Brownells decided to sign an agreement with them, or decide they want to produce it as well. Um, and that's basically the main bits. There's all other smaller things, like a, like a pencil barrel of modern materials. Uh, you know, the fuses heat better, doesn't have the issues it had back in the day, stuff like that. Um, modern, using optics alone, because back up iron sights. It depends, back up iron sights, you may need them, but... You mean not? Basically, it's only if your battery runs out. So as long as you go into battle, battle with a fresh battery, in airsoft terms, then you're fine. Um, or if you use a sight with, if you're using like a hollow sun or a or a um, or a sight which catches the sun's rays, you'll be fine. Um, and the reason why they're doing this is a lighter lighter rifle means more ammo. B lighter rifles means you can put stuff on it, as the as, as is the trend for the modern day. Even Evike uh, or Evik, as actually how they say it, <laughs> uh, but Evike is how I've always said it. But basically, Evike back in the day made an overly tactical, you know, M14 or M4, where they just slapped everything on it. Uh, grenade launcher, scopes, littoral scopes, uh, foregrip, dual drum, everything. So the uh, what you. So the WWSD rifle, what you would stoner, what would stoner do rifle is basically allowing you to go to such extremes easier. Because, like for example, when I first got my full metal um, M16A2 airsoft gun, and handed it to my grandpa who actually used uh, an M16 back uh, back at the later stages of Vietnam. Well, yeah, it was only there for a year, just doing stuff in Saigon. Which is no longer called which is no longer called Saigon, but anyway, I in this career was around uh, around, uh, around Vietnam's time, but he never, but he only went to Vietnam for a short time, uh, and he was a Navy man, and he was a supply sergeant or supply, he was a supply chief, so I never actually, you know, he did that, though he did that, he was doing, he was making sure logistics was okay, um, but anyway, so. Uh, but anyway, so even you know he handled the NA1 before um, he never used it. He never used pistols either, um, or he carried a pistol. Um, but when I handed him my 
M16A2 airsoft gun. Uh, which airsoft guns, if you don't know, if you, have, if you don't know airsoft guns very well, um, airsoft guns uh, typically, if they're me, if they're metal, and if they're metal, if they're made of the same stuff as the real world gun, they'll weigh practically the same. Dry, if not a bit heavier, because they have um, because they have pistons and whatnot going on the inside to actually get uh, the pel to actually get the pellets out. Of course, loaded a a uh, Loaded a real steel, as they're called, will actually be heavier. A real gun will be heavier. Um, but unloaded, they'll be practically the same. And I had to do him, and he was like, whoa, this is heavy. Um, so, yeah, there is that thing that exists uh, about M16s being heavy. Um, you know, most world firearms being heavy. Uh, I... Well, with my first airsoft gun when I was 13, my first real airsoft gun was a thir when I was 13, was uh was a H and K 36, but I had a tool drum on it and a bi bipod foregrip, so it became an M G 36, albeit without actual without the actual you know beefed up barrel, long barrel, so it would be in that terrible M G 36, but it's a good mi middle middle of the ground, and I didn't know better at the time, and I carried that 13, but even then if like if it but even then, an MG36 is all polymer, which you know gives it some issues with sighting. But, but that's well, that's beyond the point of airsoft. So that also has something to do with the um, what Stoner what what would Stoner do? It also allows you to carry drums and stuff like that easier, or at least carry the one drum which you bail and pick, grab. And if you happen to run out ammo with a drum mag, you simply get another magazine out of your pocket. That's normal. Um, but anyway, so going on to, so going, uh, so the pre, with the preamble out of the way, which I do suggest, which I will link in description to the playlist for, uh, from them testing all the stuff with the real steel, um, if you're interested. Um, but this will begin my series of it, because I really want one. I'm not one into shooting a rural farm, because I don't have a place to shoot it, really. And my grandmother hates guns, she even hates airsoft guns, but that's a happy middle ground, as happy as it can be, so there's that. Um, and also airsoft. Airsoft is roughly three times cheaper. Like, for example, the price of, what would my, what would my stoner, the price of my airsoft, what, what would stoner do rifle, is the price of the carbon fiber grip, of the ca carbon fiber foregrip that they have on their guns. Okay, it's more it's more expensive than that, but still. But anyway, so this is what I came up with. Um, now, what what you need is a base gun. A base gun can be a a a g or gas pole black. It doesn't quite matter. The base gun, um, the base gun has to be all polymer, you know, for lightness purposes. Um, I am using the Matrix M4 gas blowback AR-15 uh, airsoft rifle, reinforced with, yeah, you get the idea. Um, 15 inch. This is, this will be my base gun. Where did I pick this? Because of its price being just under $200 by dollar, um, at 15 inches. It comes with a, gu comes with a couple, uh, it, it being, and it's all polymer, and it's a gas blowback. I, I, I never owned a, a gas blowback um, the only gas blowback I've ever, er the first gas blowback I ever earned was the FPG, which is basically a machine pistol, some machine gun. Um, if you can think of, if you, if you don't know what it is, you can look it up, it's awesome. Um, I definitely need to do a video where I just go through my armory, especially now that I have everything, well, I'll, I'll do it as soon as I unbox the last two guns I need to unbox, from last time I shopped at eBay.com. But anyway, so I'm picking this because of the all polymer body. And price. Now, with that out of the way, what you could also do is get get this all in parts. If you believe you're proficient enough at building airsoft guns, or want to or want to attempt it, you can get this all in parts. Um, you can get everything single and just build it yourself. That'd be considerably more expensive, I would think, but you can do it. They're much harder. Instead of basically taking a perfectly good gun and stripping it for and stripping it for just a core. Now, also which I found which I found just today, is you can get the Gen One, you can get the 
Azeroth D Dynamics Gen 1 Carbon Fiber Handguard. It is the only handguard I know of for Airsoft. Or Carbon Fiber Handguard I know for Airsoft. There are actually a lot more Carbon Fiber Handguards for Real Steel, but Airsoft is unique. Airsoft, the goal is to make it as real as possible, or make it as durable as possible. AKA, if you can make the entire gun out of aircraft grade or aluminum, you will do it. Um, so, whereas in real steel, the goal is to make it lighter, in airsoft, the goal is to make it heavier, to make it more realistic, because real guns are heavy. As well as just making it more dur durable and stuff like that. Um, and this is a $99 foregrip. Now, as an alternative to this, um, as an alternative to this, you can also get, I can, if I can find it, I am look, go to external, I'm going to external parts, handguards. You can also get one of these gunfighters. Now, the problem I have with the gunfighters is not their price. Their price is really good. I love these things because they got, because they got holes on the diagonals, on the top diagonals, on the top and the bottom. Which is four more positions than the carbon fiber grip has. I mean, it does classify itself as Gen 1, so there's that. I have to wish this, please. Thank you. Alright, you need to get there. Alright. But the problem I have with this is it's too short. It's only nine inches long. I have a 15 inch barrel. That means my barrel is going to be. Uh, my, my barrel's going to be sticking out of the handguard like no one's business. It's going to look silly. Unfortunately, the only polymer handguards come in this size or smaller. Mostly smaller. Most people want M4s. But most people do not want M16s. In fact, 15 inches, I actually measured my A2 barrel. Um, I actually measured my uh, M16 A2 barrel. It is not 15 inches, it's more like 18, uh, which I do love that barrel. Uh, I love the, I, I love the M16's length. Um, and it seems like the Marines kind of are outgrowing that period where they wanted shorter guns. Um, albeit that, you know, in Afghanistan, shorter guns, I mean, albeit in Iraq, shorter guns are great because you're going in our buildings all the time, going in our vehicles in the mass deserts all the time. In Afghanistan, we are sniping across mountains, we are sniping across valleys. Yeah, longer is better. Um, so, and, and I've all, and, and if you've seen my, if you've seen any of my more realistic, uh, if you've seen any of my more realistic gameplay videos, um, where I'm playing, where I'm playing games which are new simulators or simulators, you always notice I do something peculiar here. I go to the edge of the battlefield, I find the tallest hill, and I snipe from it. So I'm a definitely DMR sniper and in situations that allow it. In situations in which I only get, if I get hit, I go down. So this grip, while I love it, is too short. And it's the, and it's the, and it's the only polymer grip that I would actually get. So, if you want a shorter gun, and if you're okay with polymer over carbon fiber, the only real reason why you would get carbon fiber for an airsoft gun is carbon fiber is um, um, is more durable than the polymer. Uh, the reason why, the reason why you would get carbon fiber over polymer um, with a real steel is because that carbon fiber won't flex, or at least not as easily. So in airsoft, I would if, if you're if you're going for the uh, what would Stoner do challenge, I'd definitely go for a polymer grip. There are a couple good ones like gun BCM Gunfighter, CCA Airsoft is also a thing I look at that looks nice, looks promising. Um, GMP Moss Two looks interesting as well, but there's not many. Onevike.com, I, I must admit, uh, onevike.com. And also, another thing, also Magpul would work, except the problem with Magpuls is they don't have a, is they don't have rails on top for some unknown reason. I mean, you don't really need one, really, unless you, unless you like putting your, P, uh, unless you like putting your laser-like combo on top of that. 
but I prefer putting it right in front of my. I prefer putting it in front of my. Um, in front of. In front of in front of my four in front of my uh, vertical grip. But anyway, going on to another thing. Now what? You, now next up is scopes. Actually, no. Let's go. That, that was in order I did things. Let's go in order of building the rifle first. Next up is retractable stock. There, the stock. What's a good stock on evike.com for what you, what would Stoner do? Triforce Polymer Alpha Retractable Stock seems amazing. Which, by the way, the reason why they didn't do retractable stocks with the what would Stoner do rifle is a the reason that you don't need one. Um, B. Uh, B. Their stock. B. Their polymer lower would not permit it. Polymer lower lower was a lower and stock combo, so it would not permit it. Nor would you really want one with real steel gun or an airsoft gun for that matter, because it's weaker that way. Um, but since you don't have a choice unless you want to use a unless you want to use this or the new version that they're uh, that they're working with another company to create because this version went out of business. Uh, this version's company went out of business. Unless you want to convert that, which is three hundred forty dollars, into an airsoft gun, which is something that's not undoable. It's not not it's not not doable. It's just you know a thing that you need to do. Uh, but if you don't want a retractable stock, if you want to be, if you want to maintain the flavor of uh, the show of the videos, then what I would recommend, in all of my uh, non-experience verse, with all of my limited experience verse off, yes, I've been doing airsoft longer than I've been doing. Okay, no, I've been doing video games longer than I've been doing airsoft, but I'm not as knowledgeable in airsoft as I am in um, video games. I'm looking for. I'm looking for. Ah, jeez, come on. I'm looking for stocks. Stock. Now, what I would do with what you what what Stoner would do is either go for flat out just getting a M16 style stock and leaving it that way. It's light enough. However, what you could also do is if if you really wanted to is get one of these get is get one of these stocks or get this one. I, Okay, this was the one I was actually going for before I found the uh, uh, retractable stock that I liked, the Strike Series Viper Modular Fixed Stock. It's really, really nice. Um, however, you do need an Allen key to actually access the battery compartment if you have an AG. Which, by the way, this stock will work for an AG. My stock would, uh, the stock that I would be getting would not. Um, so I should add you to the cart for right now. However, what you could also do is get one of these stocks, get a Mad Bull uh, stock, uh, for even more lightness. Now, it's made out of metal, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's light and it's durable. So let's actually add you to the wish list. Yeah, and the wish list. Good. And also add. Um, and like I say, you can go for, uh, no reason. Now what, now my issue with these stocks actually is they're too short for me. Um, like, I'll be on the very end of the stock, I would think. I don't know about actually trying one, but I, but that's just the thing. Now if you prefer 9 inch stocks, that's fine. Uh, go ahead, but that's the issue I have with the had with these. So, uh, but yeah, that that would uh, well, that's what I would do. Uh, so you, basically, if uh, basically if you have a, if you have an AG, you go for if you want fixed stock AG, go for a traditional M16 stock, or start your gun or start your gun as an all polymer M16, which are which is not hard to get, or in for whatever floats your boat. And this one's also good, my bet by Mad Ball, but yeah. Now what I actually wanted to do too. Actually, what are these? Actually, I missed these. If you are actually. Ooh, we got contender. I don't know how heavy you are, but I actually like you. 
Okay, you know what? I might actually use this on my what you what would Stoner do herself gun this magpole. Uh it's the Trinity Force. Well, the Trinity Force is so cheap I can technically get both. So you need to go for a wish list. So yeah, um ah, I got another conversation, the MOE the MOE stock by Magpole. That that one what you would probably want for a fixed stock. It should be light and it's not going to be as stock um as an actual F sixteen stock. Um so that probably be a tad bit more a tad bit more um how do you say uh doable. Okay, so I'll keep my retractable stock because again we don't have the same limitations as uh the real steel and I do like retractable stocks. Um but yeah, however I would also however I however I I did have a I did have a moment. I, I did have a moment with this guy. Now the thing about what you would stoner what stoner would do uh you know um guns or uh, what sooner do modification their builds? I should say, is you can add weight if you if you you can add weight to to some places because you took weight up from somewhere else. This thing will be heavy being the back, which if I needed to one hand the gun for a second, um, or make it a bit easier to maneuver, that would be good. I mean, it's meant for sniping, but you know, things happen. So I might actually, you know, so I might get that, but I want, one, I want to try, I want to try an ultralight one first, and then we start weighing it down. So now, now what do we go, go next? Now what, now what do we do next? Um, we do next up. How about next up is our scope, and now for my, uh, what would Stoner do, what Stoner do airsoft gun? I will go with the Aim Sports. Two time, two to seven times, I think I'm reading that correctly. Um, long arm relief tactical scope for fifty dollars. Um, it seems really good. It has actual crosshairs, which I prefer. And yeah, it's not illuminated, but I don't think I need that to be honest. Um, but we'll see. Oh, diameter. That's what that is. Gamification. Yeah, yeah. Making it and and it's cheaper than than uh, illumination. Um. I actually, sh let's look at elimination if you want elimination. Also, let's look at scopes in general. Where in the world are scopes? I am being so blind. Eliminate scopes. Now, I should be able to find it pretty easy like. I mean, you can also go with an ACOG or anything, but yeah. I mean, like, any scope will be fine for what, what, what Stoner do. Um, except, you know, really long because you're using an M16, what are you doing? Okay, we want something that's not horribly expensive. Uh, no power variable. That's what I want. Now, if you want an illuminated variable scope, I would go with this guy, which I want you in my wish list. But the reason why I'm not going with this guy immediately is because money, 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 money. Um, and I like this guy because of it, because of it, because of the scope style. Or because of the crosser style, I should say. However, because it's expensive, it doesn't come without the features. Uh, you actually need to buy mounts for it. So, yeah. Well, I don't think I don't think that they really need to tell you what the frickin' uh what the crosser style is. Uh Okay, but anyway. Um like I like the uh crosser style. This is where I figure that out at. Um which basically it is a it's a half circle, half circle dot with line line. Um on on both edge of half circle so yeah, I, I would go with this one if you want to eliminate it, I'll probably go with it later. Because of because the because of the expense, um. But for right this second, I'll go with something. I, I'll go with something basic. And the reason why I'm getting a variable zoom is so I can use that at different ranges easier. 
Because you know, because you know how I shoot in video games. I'm a, I'm always engaging targets from wherever the place, and I always and I always adjust my aim. Albeit in video games, it's different because the button. Albeit with a on console anyway, the buttons are right, buttons at your fingertips to switch to zoom. However, in uh, however in real life, you have to reach. You have to pull your hand back. You got pull your hand back from the foregrip, reach up to the scope, adjust it, adjust it, then you know put your hand back. So what you what what I would probably settle on instead is actually it's actually a red dot. Or in my case, uh, which I would settle on a uh, a red dot and I mean again any of these will do. A red dot and reflex sight. I mean, a red dot and a hollow sight look alike, or a natural hollow sight if you want to afford it. I mean, there's no real reason why you can't get an a why you can't get a real steel sight and put it on there, soft gun, except for expense. I mean, then then there's this guy, which I mean, it'll add a lot, it'll add a lot of mass to the top of your gun, but then again, it won't matter. However, it keeps everything centered. Now, what I will actually do is ignore you because you're you're an actual EOTech. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know they were thousand. I didn't know they were six hundred dollars. I thought, or uh, yeah, actually, yes, I didn't know they were six hundred dollars. What am I talking about? Um, but this is what I would do: is I I would take a red dot and use a variable scope like they ended up in, uh, with the what Red Stoner doing twenty seventeen project or twenty seventeen to twenty nineteen. Like, that's what I would do. Um, they actually got no EO take a look like uh, uh, right now, but. Yeah, basically just any scope is a good scope. What, whatever your preference, A call, red dot. You know, it's just preference at that point. You know, however, I would do, uh, I would do, um, I, I would do a whole, uh, I will do a whole site with zoom. If you're trying to find the zooms, which are like I said, I already got the uh, hollow site. It's just I can't find one. Actually, we did find one earlier. It just looked, yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Apparently, uh, apparently, black is more. Black is easier. So go to the, go there now. I just, huh? Sorry. All right. Just need to find what I'm looking for. I need just scopes, and then you. Like I would go. I would go. Mag I would do this magnifier and. Uh, and you know, un and hollow, which is what I use in video, which is what I use in arena games anyway nowadays. Um, if you if you notice them, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that's what I use, and uh, uh, also in World War Three, I believe that's what I used too when I wasn't when I wasn't using an ACOG. So yeah, so that, that's our, these are our scopes. They'll go in the wish list for now because they're going to just drive the price up. Now, what I uh, would also now, now moving on from scopes, what are our magazines going to be? Now, that's important for airsoft. You can't see, but I'm smiling at your ear. Drum, dual drums. What does lightning the gun do? You can carry more ammo. Most people think of carrying more ammo in vests or in a bag somewhere on your person. I think. I'm carrying it all in my magazine. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm a dual I'm a dual drum fanatic. Um, I, I admit it. However, if you want less ammo, for some reason, and you're more, you want less ammo for some reason, and you're, uh, you want less ammo for some reason, and you're okay with, and, and you still want a drum mag. There are electronic gas gun magazines. Oh, is that gas? Oh, drill magazine. There we go. You would want pistol, pistol. I actually would need a gas magazine one. I electrical magazine one work maybe. Yeah, I might need to figure out gas guns work. <laughs> um, but if you're using the AG.
Yeah, it might work with Vine 15 because... Oh, actually, here we go. Now, here, here, here are the drums. Oh, jeez. It's going to cost more than my gun. That's not even for... I mean, that's not... Oh, you get variations. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at... I was looking at EEGs earlier. That's my bad. That's how. That's my memory. <laughs> that's not my memory being weird. It's just um, my process of doing things. I can get a Victor drum. <gasps> um. Major M16. Okay, ignoring that for now, I guess. If you have a gas gun, you can't get gas mags. Or you can get EAG mags. <sighs> I mean, you know, you should have known that. I mean, I didn't know that from pistols. It's just, uh, again, yeah. I ignore that. Um, ignore me being silly. Um, okay, but this is great. Watch your gun mags. Drum mags. Now, here's the good stuff. Okay, if you if you want to draw a mag, but don't want the but what, don't want any goodness, uh, you can have the difference between you can get an angel custom, one thousand fifty round mag for uh, and you can choose the ver and you can choose the variation, um, AK, um, AK, uh, in AK MG thirty six, or no G thirty six or or even AOG um, or or M four M sixteen even even uh, M fourteen. So this is a really good mag. It's like it's for your AEG, which unfortunately, um, on um, unfortunately maybe I should get an AEG buddy. I probably should, <laughs> so I can get drums. Um, by the way, you're going in the you're going in here. I, electric winding, but yeah, the only the only real dif difference between the two is one's electric, one's manual. So yeah, uh, that's our magazine. I mean, be it our, our magazine is not that because I, you know, I I get, I don't got a, uh, I don't got a. I don't got a. Uh, actually, I can get one of these just a horribly expensive. Right. Oh, actually, yeah, I can. Oh my word, they're expensive. I don't even know how many. I don't know how many BBs they take. 150, 150. Okay, so I, actually, I can I can use one of these. And the difference again between the expensive and not expensive and lesser expensive one. Bye bye, single company fine number battery. Yeah, basically, one's manual, one's not. We'll go with electric because that's what I had. Growing up, that's what we're gonna get <sighs> eventually. It's a good thing we're both here to realize that. Yeah, save it later. Oh man, that sucks. I can still have it on my normal M16A4. It's just that it's a normal M16A4. It's not as a clean light. But yeah, I mean, like, you just can't get dual drums for non-G36s. Non it just doesn't happen. Um, but anyway, so if that exists, that's expensive. That's almost expensive as my gun. I mean, it makes sense. It has to be under pressure and stuff like that. Like, like the components that go inside its development. It, it, that's not necessarily a bad price. It's triple the price of an electric dual drum. But that electric dual drum was ninety dollars prior. To, was ninety dollars when I was thirteen. So that went down. It's just these are brand new, I guess. So yeah, that's a thing. Now what's next? Next is bipod support. Actually, next is laser light. I prefer the Matrix M6 because it is awesome. It's in line. It's awesome. Um, it's only forty five dollars. It is awesome. No more. Needs to be said. Also, uh, my foregrip is the same that I've been using for since I was 13 with my MG36. 
airsoft gun. Because it's the only one that exists. I don't know why, it's just no one ever, ever, ever wants to innovate in the foregrip bipod arena. You either have both, or you have one. People don't like making more than this for making more. Uh, it's a scarf. Jeez, uh, it came off a scarf. <laughs> People, um, but anyways, $18, it's amazing. It's, that's what I'm putting on my gun. That's about the lightest bipod you can get. <laughs> That's not, you can get, that's the last bottle buy you can get, really. Um, regardless, um, it's a foregrip. Uh, if you wanted to get a standalone bipod, you still got much of a choice. A bunch of steals. Um, so yeah. Moving on to suppressor, because I do like my gun suppressed. Now, I was limited in my choice due to my wanting of an orange ring, so I, you know, so I keep it looking like a toy. Um, but if you weren't concerned about that, you can find another one like this. But this is for an SR-25, which is an M16 with a longer barrel and a bigger bullet. It should be fine. Quote me on, should be. Famous last words before something goes wrong with my bullets. I'm shooting them. Uh, but anyway. If I, if I was trying to fit an SR-25 on M16 barrel. But anyway, uh, this, you know, this has a quick release, it's awesome. It has an orange ring, which is awesome. It's tan, which is suck, which is sucky. But, you know, it, I'll, I'll take what I can get. And it's also a barrel extension, so what I would do for what what what, what would Stoner do with airsoft gun is always get a barrel extension mock suppressor. It only makes sense. Now, my only question is, will it actually fit on an M16 barrel, or do I actually need an SR25 barrel? I don't think they're gonna be. It is gonna be much longer actually, because it's not a rifle version, and they're not gonna. And they're, and they're not going to make a short, shorter version of it. Made by Matrix, which is what we're looking for as well. Uh, actually, hold on one sec. What do you look like in front of the suppressor? What do you have on the end of your barrel? Oh, you do have a thing on the end of your barrel. See? Um, I just need to get the barrel attachment is what I need. Um, you know, like the challenge of finding something that's not full metal is is the thing. Is the thing is, like, you can never find full barrel stuff back in the day, but now they're just everywhere. Um, like cough manufacturer demand and whatnot. Yeah, it needs a barrel polymer receiver. Actually. Yeah, it has a thing on the end of the barrel, so if I want the suppressor, however, I do want the barrel length. 20 millimeter handgun. Jeez. I mean, it's M16 all around other than that, I think. Quote me on my last words. Um, I mean, it's not an M16 look, because it's an SR25 look-alike. Uh, I need SR25 things. Uh, okay, I think it would be just better just to get an SR25 barrel, to be honest with you. So I need to look this over, I need to look this over. So stay tuned for video 2 so I can actually fit my mux suppressor on it. So I want you to go. I want you to go to uh, the witch list, guys. I can't actually use you. Never mind. It's a good thing we were here together. It's a good thing we were here together to uh, finalize that bit. Okay. I uh, know, because that was literally the only one I was 
even I, I that was the only one I was anywhere close to being happy with. So never mind, mine just not gonna be mock suppressed. Jeez. All right, so and also because American flags deserve to be plastered on everything, um, which I don't have a place to put it. I don't have a place to put this either or that. Um, before I record this, I was looking for those rings that used to go on old, uh, that you used to be able to put on your standard M4 or standard M16 A2 foregrips. I, I didn't find them. So, that's gonna be a thing. I'm pretty sure they would work on covering fiber, as long as they don't need a hole. If not, I might have to go to the polymer foregrip. And go with a shorter barrel, so it doesn't look nearly as ridiculous. Um, but I think the, I think the short, I think 9 inches is a standard M4. I think. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, so this is my what would Stoner do airsoft gun if you were watching this video and wanted to buy it. Uh, and wanted to go to evike.com right this second and go get it. Um, uh, unfortunately, I cannot do the same. Um, uh, because of many reasons. Um. All of them financial. All of them are my YouTube. All of them that I don't make enough money. I literally, uh, I literally made more money in the first month of of releasing my first book than I have on than I had than I have had on YouTube within the uh, within the last three months. And it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's not. It's not enough for to buy any of this. Okay, maybe the stock, maybe the maybe the roll cover. Um. So yeah, so I'll be locked again. So basically, what's going to happen now is if you want to if you want to get this and make a video for me, please go ahead um, and send me a link and, and send me a link to the video in the uh, comments below. Um. However, what I would be doing is next month I will start on the long road of attaining my what would Stoner do airsoft gun. First, I will first I would get uh, first I'll okay since I need to part this out let's make let's make a going order now first off I don't need you and I don't need you because I already have those I don't mind switching them because the because uh, the laser light combos on my M16 as is which by the way. Because I'm going to have extra barrel length, because my because even my new foregrip isn't long enough, uh, I do have a thing that goes that goes um, on the end of the barrel, which attaches which it's, which attaches to the end of the barrel, which I, which I'll use for um, uh, which I'll use for my mounts, uh, which it has 360, which it has a mount in every, uh, and well it has mount, mounts in the cross, so it has four mounts, one left, one top, one right, one down. Um, and I'll just use that on this. If I have to tape it so it doesn't move, I'll tape it so it doesn't move. Because uh, it's been, because it kind of uh, goes back in between the front sight and the fore and the foregrip. And I don't have that option on this gun because I have a free because it will have a free floating foregrip. But anyway, so first first off is getting the gun. Second off um, is getting the scope. Um, so what I so I'm, what I'm going to be doing is getting the gun and the scope together, getting the gun and the scope together. So that would be two hundred forty nine dollars. Then I'll get the foregrip. Uh, then I get the uh, then I'll get the foregrip and stock together. So that'll be uh, so that'll be one hundred. Then the month the month after the month after, um, then I'll get the foregrip and stock. Which will be a hundred fourteen dollars. Then I'll just get the magazine all by itself because I don't really, really need it. Although I need extra mags for it comes with a magazine, which is okay because I'm not gonna be using it. Um, unfortunately. Um, uh, basically what I need to do is get a new shooting range because mine has tree fruit trees growing in it now. The one I used in the past has fruit trees growing in it now, and we also got feral cats, so we can't even use that one anyway because that's where their home is. Um, and I don't want to be shooting anywhere near bushes in case uh, in case my bullets go off their target and accidentally hit one. That'd be horrendous. Um, so what? So we basically need a new shooting range, and since I'm going to be filming there, I need 
good location for it. But anyway, so it's going to be a long time before I get all, even these parts assembled. That should only be in two months. Actually, well, first thing is bam, bam, bam. Um, I keep reading about the roll cover. The roll cover goes with, the roll cover goes with, um, the roll cover goes with, um, the gun, the foregrip, the roll cover, or the gun, foregrip, the gun, the gun, scope, uh, roll cover, then foregrip, then stock. I'm kind of hoping that the foregrip gets, uh, that they, uh, that they become off Gen 2 and has, you know, mount holes, but that's, may be too far away and might be too expensive even actually actually let's see this for real um uh, you know this is gonna be my first purchase you wish list that's gonna be my first one And then this is going to be my second. Also with gas, also with gas can, also with gas, can, uh, green gas cans as well. Can't forget about that. Like and then that. All right, well I'll put this away for your for your sake, um, so you don't get confused. I don't. Oh, that's because I'm going back to it. Well, anyway, let's get those parts back real quick. I don't know where the freaking are now. Like, like, like for and by the way, like for example, okay, there you are. Like that's a good bipod. It's light enough. Just that'd be fine. <sighs> Also, it's something that's even lighter looking might be good. Just look for reviews. But anyway, so back to how we started. No, that's what I want. I want these ours. These ours. But it is nice that, you know, some of this stuff stayed around for, stay around until now. Um, like, Back in, like, back in my day, uh, when I played Airsoft, when I actually played Airsoft, and so they just collected Airsoft, um, it was, you know, you couldn't count on anything staying, anything staying for a year or two. It, it was, it was well, it was back then, but now it seems that things have, things seem to have steadied. But anyway, so this is my version, and this is my, what, what, what stoner, what would stoner do Airsoft gun? Um, what I'm thinking about, what, what I'm thinking about doing. Technically, you don't need to be here, but you stayed, because I like you. Um, this is gonna be it. Now, there is a chance that I might be able to get everything at once. But, I will not count on that. <laughs> um, fortunately, the next-gen consoles are coming out in the fall, instead of coming out earlier, but... I mean, there's gonna be a lot of game releases coming up early, coming up in the early twenty, early twenty twenty. So, yeah. Um, again, it will pro I'll probably get this nice and slow like. But anyway, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate you watching on this video. It means lots to me. Lots to me. Lots to me. If you were or videos at this point, I might I might part it out to make it a bit easier to digest. Um, but anyway. That'd be it for this video video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching uh, these videos. Be awesome. Be awesome. Be If you were to check out my book, it's There's Story Life from 12040. It's available on Amazon as well as I will as well. You can download a free PDF from my Google Drive, which you can find in the description. Uh, but anyway, um, it is a sci-fi action adventure war novel where you follow the Schwann and his wife and friends as they go on missions to help maintain the perfect world they have built over the last 15 years. And, um, yeah, um, it ha it's, um, has action, comedy, um, epic battles, and all that good stuff. Uh, and even heartfelt family moments. But anyway, um, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. 
Uh, and I also don't forget you got Add Retreatum, my wargame tabletop RPG, um, in its various forms. And yeah, so this is gonna be a long series, and you guys might get might get. Oh, I forgot the. Where's the barrel? Where's the where in the world is the barrel? Or not barrel? I didn't see the barrel. I mean the freaking you, you know what I mean. Um, the freaking uh. Oh. Hang on. You need to get in my chart, Mister. There we go. The uh full grip. <laughs> there you go. That's more percent of my price. Yeah, I'm not keen that one month. Um. Uh, Alright, so that's it for soon, and again, this is going to be a, a series of videos that I do over the next couple of months. Hopefully, by the time I get this, gu uh, get this gun built, I'll have a shooting range, and... Actually, of all my guns, this will might most likely be the one I would actually take to a airsoft field, uh, and actually play with other people, um, you know, in, a, uh, in, in an airsoft match, or by... Uh, uh, or you know, in a, or in a or in a or uh, or or in a tournament. No, well, not tournament because I uh, maybe tournament, but you know, tar you know, target shooting. That. But anyway, so yeah, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you in a second.